All right, guys, what's up? We're back with another video. This is just gonna be a brief video talking about what plugins I use when I'm building. Um, I think some of you are probably curious because I just use the plugins without saying what they are. Uh, the first one is the most important one that I always use. I've been using it ever since like I first found out about it. And that's uh, F3X. I'll put a link to all of these in the description, but um, I I'm just, you know, I just don't wanna edit like the little thing into into the actual video so I'll just talk about them and put the links to them in the description but this is my basic building tool I like it because it has all these hotkeys and it tells you what the hotkeys are and on top of that it just looks it just looks nice compared to I mean a lot of other people like the studio build suite um, that's a good pretty good plugin too it's pretty close to command uh, utility or CMD I think UTL, something like that, um, that some of you might be familiar with. Uh, but the layout of that, I just don't like it because it's just a little box up here. And some people think that's like um, more compact and it looks nicer or neater or whatever. But I just like having, like this looks kind of futuristic. And if you hover over it, I mean, it doesn't really help me anymore. But when I was starting out, this one was definitely a lot more helpful because it explains what all the tools do all the little hotkeys and stuff that you can press and I just liked it a lot a lot more and on top of that with the studio build suite you can't change it's really just for moving resizing and rotating you can't change like the colors and the uh, the surface and all that stuff like the uh, can collide here with hotkeys and you can't do it like with the actual plugin with studio build suite you have to go into the studio and adjust it there and I just don't like doing that. It's just it just seems a little bit slower to me. And plus, I'm ready used. I remember all these hotkeys ready, so that's why I use this one. And I definitely recommend using this one. So this plugin right here um, is just an animation moon animation suite. I'm still playing around with it. I don't really know how to use it that well yet. But I don't really use that for building, so it's not that important. I'll also put a link to it anyways, so you can play around with that too. This is really, really helpful. Resize a line. Um, I'll kind of demonstrate that real quick. I mean, I know I don't use it a lot in my builds because um, I don't have a lot of builds where uh, I make like a circle or a, hold on. Let me, let me show you real quick. Uh, I'll explain how to do this in a future video. It's not the main part of the video, but um, I don't have very many builds where I have like like this and they're all kind of spaced out and then I want to if I want to connect these two I get resize align uh, outer touch you connect these two and it it puts them together the reason why I don't like doing that very often is because once I go back to this now the increments are really weird and I I just don't like having it off of some even increment that I can that I can adjust easily. So once it's like this, it's pretty much finalized because you're not gonna be able to, other than editing it within the circles, uh, I don't know, parameters or whatever, other than editing it editing it with respect to these parts, you're not gonna be able to like move this here and use it unless you wanna adjust the increments here because it's 9.122 versus all of these are on 0.1 or 0.2 scale. So that's, that's the reason why I don't use it a lot. But it is really helpful, especially if you're gonna finalize like the top of like a tower or something, and you want to just resize a line so that way you know the increments. Another alternative I like doing is uh, okay. Now this 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 one's thrown off too, so I gotta change this. Let me just change it real quick to that. And the one that I find is easier to do, although you get a little bit less control, is I just I mean I, I explained this in a different video, but now I can pretty much do the same thing with while keeping the increments that I like. But yeah, that, that's pretty much that plugin, uh, Resize the Line. Um, there's a bunch of other uh, settings here that you can just test. The one you're gonna be using the most is Outer Touch. Um, I like having this, the adjust, a celestial body dragger. It just adjusts where the moon and the sun will be. This is just really helpful for just changing the lighting really easily instead of having to go into here and then be like, uh, where is it? Geographical latitude, you gotta change that and play around with it to know where you want to put the sun. But I like doing doing this one because 
I don't know if you've seen the guns I've been building on on Twitter or at least before um, I always have like a really good lighting on the gun that's because once I put the gun out here I can just move the Sun to wherever I want and if it looks good then I just take that picture take that screenshot um, the other one is good for is like for here if I want to see what this looks like at night versus what it looks like on a sunset maybe with the Sun going this way but yeah I really like this this is probably the second most used tool that I have or plugin that I have because just because it's it's so helpful um, the next one is model resize I use this when I'm building say like a tool a gun some piece of armor something like that where it's a lot easier to build in the massive scale in like a huge scale and then I resize it down um, I don't like using the little handles here oh hold on let me change this Okay, I don't like using these to resize it because, oh, it doesn't really show here because it's not a model, but um, it's just a lot less to control. I like using the GUI right here, and basically I can change to what percent I want the, uh, the what do you call it, the gun to show or whatever I'm building to become afterwards. Like, this is really helpful if I'm building, say, I know that the scale that I expanded to is um 20 times the first t 20 times the actual robloxian character so that's like what is that two two thousand percent then i can shrink this down to whatever whatever the uh percent that is 100 to 2000 uh what is that like one out of 20 so i can shrink this down to one twentieth of 100 percent. what is that five my, my math is kind of slow right now I just shrink it down to five percent, and then I get the size that I want right away, versus having to guess and keep adjusting it over and over again. Uh, I'll make a whole video about that. It's kind of hard to explain, like a short little video. But anyways, the next plugin is Oozle Draw. This just draws um, a curve. I like using this for wires, for fences, anything that's hanging. I always switch it. Just one little tip: if you're trying to make something that's hanging. And make it look like it's hanging like in the real world you want to change it to hyperbolic cosine i i mean i don't really know the math behind it but i just know that that's the formula or the equation for everything that hangs in the world uh you can google that it's like it's it's not a super well-known fact but it's just it's something that you should know um then you can just play around with the number of segments to make it a smoother line here let me change this to five you got a little bit rougher because it's only five parts preview true all that stuff you can play around with this too and the thing that's kind of cool with it is it puts it into a model so it's easy to uh, adjust or easy to move around um, that's actually bringing let me bring it back to the uh, this the building tool f3x um, that's the one thing I hope if the f3x uh, creator sees this I hope he adds a f the feature where you can select a model that's like a model that's in Roblox Studio. Like if I group these together, I can't select that with F3X, which kind of sucks. You can do it with uh, Studio Build Suite, but not with F3X, I have to go switch to the other tool. The good news is I don't really use models that much unless I'm using a gun, but if I'm ready, if I already finished the gun, I'm not gonna be editing it with this anyway. So there's not a lot of situations where I actually use the model uh, or studio model, but still it would just be nice to have for those few occasions. But anyways, that's the end of this video. This, I, like I said, this is just a short video to explain uh, the plugins that I use. I don't use a whole lot, so as you can see. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, um, leave comments for suggestions of plugins that I should use. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.